back to my channel. Um, I am hopping on today to go through, um, I've had a lot of questions lately in regards to grooming rabbits. And so I thought while I was sitting here this afternoon grooming rabbits, I would just run through some of the um, tools I use again and how I get um, bunnies to sit on my lap. Um, for those of you who are new here, welcome. I am Renee. I am a fiber artist. I spin yarn, um, raise and grow rabbits, uh, French, English, and German. Um, and we have Angora goats also now. And um, I crochet knit and do all the spinning things. Um, and I'm actually a spin illusion wheel dealer, which you can see over here beside me is one of my wheels. Um, so welcome, I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, so a lot of people have been asking about um, grooming rabbits and how I do it. Um, I have done some videos on it before. Uh, it's probably been a while actually since I've done one of these, so I thought I'd hop on and just do that real quick. Um, I am, uh, first of all, I am not a show rabbit person at this time. Um, I just, I am not, I, for me right now, I don't have time um, to do something like that. And it's n not been one of my, my interests at this point. Although I have, I've pondered with the thought a few times. Um, right now I am not there. And so mine are strictly fiber rabbits. Um, so this is actually, uh, I don't even know if you guys have seen her. This is Scarlet. She is one of my newer rabbits this summer. She is a beautiful red English Angora. Um, <clears throat> so she is hopefully going to be bred uh, sometime this winter, I think. I'm going to breed her. I have another rabbit, Logan, who is also an English Angora. Um, and I'm thinking the two of them would make some beautiful colored babies. So um, she is, I got her in June, I think. Um, and so, uh, as you guys know, I usually shear down my rabbits. Um, most of my rabbits are sheared the entire summer. Um, she was sheared earlier this summer. And so she's got um, quite a bit of uh, fiber on her. She is a little bit dirty. She is one of my, and by dirty I mean there's hay bits and things in her fur that I'm kind of picking out. She is one of my girls that is in a fenced-in area in my barn. Um, and <clears throat> so she's doing well in there. Um, and I mentioned not showing the rabbits because I, um, I don't, I'm not as concerned, and some people go, oh, but I am not as concerned as with like their underbelly and their feet and things like that. Like they are not, my rabbits are not perfectly groomed all the time. Um, so they might have mats on their feet and things like that. Um, right now, that's just where I'm at. Uh, and again, I'm not showing them, so I don't think that's an issue. Um, the tools that I have, and I've mentioned these before, and I'll try to uh, cl um, link a couple of those other videos up above in the cards of my grooming and tools I use and things like that, but I have my comb. Um, this one I've had for quite a while. I think this is my second or third comb. I do like these ones a lot. Um, they are cat or dog combs, and they have the different size teeth, which I like. It seems to grab the fur. I have my Fiskars seam ripper shears. Um, they're nice, small size, and easy to use for me, and I like the angled edge on them. And I have a pair of just dog or cat um, nail clippers. I'll trim her nails while she's sitting here. I mentioned she was newer because it has been an unbelievably busy summer. Um, and <clears throat> with that, I got four new goats and I got four new rabbits this summer. Uh, did I get four? Yeah, I guess I got four new rabbits. And so on top of everything else going on, it has been a busy summer. And I have not um, handled, handled these rabbits as much as I would if they would have been born here or um, just a different season of life. So these guys have not been handled as much. But as you can see, as I'm sitting here talking, um, 
she is just sitting here on my lap. I do have a towel on my lap, just an old towel that I sit down and <clears throat> I um, just sit here with her. And uh, she may be calm because I haven't really, I kind of uh, combed out her ears and stuff here. But for the most part, I am just maybe getting her used to sitting here. So she's doing really well. Um, shockingly, I wasn't sure how she would do because again, she's one of my newer ones. And, <clears throat> excuse me, she has not been handled as much as my other ones have been in the past. So I am hoping to get that kind of changed here in the next couple months as things slow down with the garden and everything else. <coughs> Um, excuse me. So, I am going to um, sit here and get started grooming her while I talk just for a few minutes. Uh, you'll kind of see. Um, people have been asking about how I do keep rabbits still while you're trying to groom them. I do have like a grooming table out in the rabbit barn um, that I do use often but today's kind of a dreary yucky day out and so I decided just to bring her in and it's just more comfortable for me to sit here and do this um, and so and if I do have um, a rabbit that's kind of wound up I will put them on my lap that seems to calm them down anyways in order to do this so uh, yeah and she does like I said she's got a few mats here and there um, she was sheared clipped her actually, um, not sheared, I did clip her because I have her fiber here in a container down below me. Um, it's probably the end of June, beginning of July. And so she has, she doesn't have really long staple length yet. She's got some beautiful crimp in her hair though. I can see it as I'm sitting here. Um, so from, from the roots to the ends, she's got like that much see can you see that there you go <laughs> um, I could have you a little bit further out so that's how much the length on her is and I'm sitting here and just simply grooming her um, <clears throat> I am gonna go through and trim her feet like I said she's got some mats on her feet that I'm gonna deal with today and yeah so one other thing I wanted to chat with is and I think I mentioned this but she is a red Angora um, which is, makes me very excited. Um, red are not typical colors that you get. They're harder to find. Um, I got her from Heidi over, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of where Heidi's located, to the west side of Michigan. And um, Heidi has a whole bunch of really neat rabbits right now. Um, I can't follow her too much on Facebook because then I just want more rabbits, but she's got some beautiful colors. She's got some newer breeds that she's working on too which is super interesting. Um, some breeds I've never heard of. Um, so her name is Heidi Benlick. I'll try to remember to put her, um, her information down below in the, the box here um, because she has some breeds that she's been working on for a while and um, they're adorable. <clears throat> so um, that's why I, where I got Scarlet from. And so, like I said, I'm gonna be breeding her this this, I don't know if I'll do it this fall or if I'll do it closer to winter time. Um, but the the rabbit, the English that I want to breed her with, Logan, he is a chestnut sport tort, um, which he has he has very similar colors to her, um, and he has a grayish face. I'll have to take a picture of him and pop it in here. He is adorable too, and he's a very sweet rabbit. Um, Actually, all, all four of the English Angoras I got this summer are very sweet rabbits. Um, I have Archer, who is my blue-eyed white, and every morning he just wants to come out of his cage and be pet. Um, and he's super sweet. And Scarlet is actually in um, with Hannah, which is a red-eyed white English Angora that I got this summer also. Um, and so they're together in a in a cage out in my barn. Um, and so they're all super sweet rabbits. Um, yeah, so I have some catching up to do. I have quite a few rabbits 
that are in need. I have a couple that really, really need to be groomed. Um, again, it's been a very busy summer and most of them were sheared down for all, for most of the summer. Um, this is some of her Scarlet's hair from earlier this summer. I also wanted to mention when um, you are at, I've talked about putting in my fiber inside. Um, I save Folgers, the plastic coffee cans, I put my fiber in those. But also a great source is like Goodwill. I found some of these uh, a couple months ago. They have the lids that seal, um, wooden lids that seal and they pop off. It's super nice to keep it. Anytime I'm at Goodwill and there's nice baskets, I buy those also because I keep fiber in baskets. Um, again, that goes, it, it doesn't matter what you keep your fiber in. It just goes back to that. Um, I am very, I'm a very visual person and so I like pretty. And so I'm always looking at Goodwill for um, pretty baskets or containers with lids. Um, so that's where I get all of mine from. None of these are store-bought or anything like that and they make great um, <clears throat> great holders for all the fiber where you can keep it separated I used to back in the day <clears throat> have um, coffee cans that all had labels on them for each <laughs> Willow is right here as usual so she just got right in Scarlett's face here um, I used to keep all of my fiber separate um, by rabbit I don't do that so much anymore because I do blend it and um, and ship it that way and, and sell it um, or spin it just I put all my grays together and all my um, chestnut together so uh, so I don't do the labeled as much anymore but I do know that this is hers because it's red the red fiber um, and I got quite a bit of off from her this is actually her and um, Logan, who I'm going to uh, breed her with. And I think you can kind of see that's kind of a mix of their fur. Um, it's really close to being the same color, even though he's not a red. He does have a red tinge to him. Um, and I apologize for the light lighting today. It is, uh, it is very dreary out. We were, we've been in the 80s the last week, and... Um, and we are in the 60s today and it's dropping we're supposed to be in the 30s at night by this weekend so we have one of those big fall jumps that we know comes every year we just never know when um, so yeah that's basically how I groom my rabbits um, again I think if you do have a jumpy rabbit or a uh, nervous rabbit maybe just sitting with them on your lap uh, not necessarily grooming them but maybe just sitting petting them for a while and then they calm down and then you can do the grooming with them um, that's what I would recommend and just having them get used to you um, another option is to sit on the floor with them on your lap too I don't think it makes much difference but um, yeah she's she's doing really well just sitting here and so I'm going to sit here this afternoon and get a few rabbits done um, I actually, today is Thursday when I'm filming this. I'm about a week ahead of all my videos right now. And um, I was going to clean cages today because every Thursday I clean rabbit cages. Um, but I decided not to clean today. For one thing, it was pouring rain out this morning. Um, and that was one of the reasons, although it wouldn't have affected me much with the cleaning. It's just dragging all the the wagon in and out of the barn um, but I decided not to because next week I start power washing all of my um, cages so that will be coming I do have a video on that I'll try to link up above too um, I've already done a video on my power washer and how I do that with my cages so fall cleaning starts on Monday so I decided just to wait until Monday to do everything it made no sense to me to go out and clean out the bottoms um, today and then go ahead and clean them out again on Monday so I'm taking a little extra time today to do grooming so I think that's it for today guys um, if you have any questions or comments please put them down below I am always happy to answer them and I hope to make um, owning and raising Angor rabbits um, not as stressful as it can be to some people and just to show you 
how to uh, to do things on a daily basis with them. So. Um, if you don't already, please click the subscribe button and the like button for me. That does help me out as I'm creating more and more content. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I hope you get to create something today, too.